asking a lady about how many days cycle she is may sound simple, but it is not. I'm asking you what in at the moment. How many days cycle are you? Hopefully, after this discussion, you're going to see that you might have given a wrong answer. Despite you claiming all of this while that that is your cycle. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in on this very interesting discussion which we will be taking from now right up to when we are done with the topic. I am Tima Dauda, medical laboratory scientist and a reproductive health consultant at Tima Diagnostic Center. We in Queen Bermuda. I really want to thank all the glorious morning family members that I hope we all are keeping safe from COVID-19. So we are going to move through an explanation to explain your menstrual cycle to you in a detailed way. We will start today by giving some definitions and then we now move subsequently to other explanations about it. I really do hope that we all are going to enjoy this discussion together. Thank you so much. I would also like to say that I have other social media platforms. I am on Facebook, I am on YouTube, I am on Twitter, I am on Instagram. The name is Check Your Health and Maintain Your Wealth. So please do well to visit all of these social media platforms and you subscribe on my YouTube channel and you can also visit me if you're within my community that's in Bermuda at Way in Kifiru building. And you can use my WhatsApp number if you have a difficulty. You can write us on 00237 666 006 107. 00237 666 006 107. Thank you very much. I really do hope we are going to enjoy this discussion together. So the very first thing is what is menstruation? What is ovulation? What is fertile window? How to calculate your cycle? How to calculate ovulation? How to calculate fertile window? How to calculate fertile window for irregular cycle? How to use your menstrual cycle if you want to conceive? And how to use it to know how to get a baby boy or a baby girl? I really do hope that we are going to enjoy all of this as we move forward. So on today we are going to give you a general overview on all of this, given these definitions, why we will subsequently give you the details of all of this together. So what is menstruation or what is the menstrual cycle? What is menstruation? The menstrual cycle is actually the mountain bleeding of a woman, but menstruation is actually the bleeding itself. So you know that as a lady, you have hormones in your body, and these hormones are chemicals. So these hormones are being used by the system to produce, like for ladies, you have hormones that help for your butt to increase. You have, these hormones also help your voice. You see, you have a thinner voice as compared to a man and breast, you have breast as compared to us men, right? You have, your breast is increased in size as compared to us, the men, right? So all of this is as a result of these hormones. So during a woman's life, these hormones actually help a lady to stimulate an egg that this egg will be used for fertilization if you meet with your partner, okay? So this egg will be used for fertilization if you meet with your husband or your partner for pregnancy to occur. But when this egg is stimulated by the follicle stimulating hormone and is released from the ovaries, it comes down for fertilization to occur and fertilization does not occur, meaning when the egg comes down and nothing happens, no sperm cell, what happens is that the walls of the womb, that is the endometrium, actually has taken waiting for fertilization to occur but because there's no fertilization it breaks down as menstruation so menstruation is the breakdown of this egg and part of the walls of your womb okay so what is the next thing 
What is ovulation? Ovulation is when an egg has been released. So when this egg is released, you have ovulation. When the egg is released, you have ovulation. Ovulation is a specific day that you have an egg being released into a system. All right. So you will see that depending on the length of your cycle, you will ovulate on a specific day. Everybody doesn't ovulate on the same day as we might be thinking. Everybody doesn't ovulate on the same day. Now, we are going to move to this board and we explain all of these as per your cycle, how to calculate your cycle, how to calculate your ovulation, how to calculate your fertile window. We are going to explain all of this on this board together. So, looking at this board, you are going to see that we have number 1 right up to 31. So, we have number from 1 right up to 31. This is because the maximum number of days that you have per month is actually 31. So, there is no more more than 31. Now, your menstrual cycle, to calculate your menstrual cycle, you need to understand some certain things. First is the first day of menstruation. Okay, so you have the first day of menstruation, which is the day that you start bleeding. That is your own day one. That day is your first day of calendar, which is your own menstrual calendar. So here you will see that we have circled like this. This circle is to tell you that these are menstrual days. We are assuming that these are menstrual days. So on this, our discussion today, we are going to explain to you how you actually calculate your menstrual cycle. Then subsequently, we will be going to explain other aspect of the menstrual cycle. So if you mark today as the first day you flow and this is the one, then another flow comes, let's say on the 31st. If you see another flow on the 31st, then that cycle is a 30 days cycle. Why is it a 30 day cycle? Your menstrual cycle is from the first day of flow to the onset of the next flow. Your menstrual cycle is the first day of flow to the onset of the next flow. So your first day of flow is the first of the month, for example. Then if you see the next menstruation on the 31st of that same month, therefore means that cycle is 30 days because when you count, you end on the onset. That's when you end. Onset is the day before the real tune, which is the day before the next flow. If you see a period on the first and you see another period on the 30th, therefore means that cycle is 29 days. Why? Because 29 is the onset of the next flow. If you see a period on the first and another on the 28th, it therefore means that cycle is 27 days. Why? Because 27 is the onset of 28. If you see a period on the first and another period on the 29, it therefore means that period is a 28 day cycle. Why? Because 28 is the onset of the next menstruation. So that is how you calculate. If you see a period on the first and you see another period on, let's say, the 20th, that period is 24 days. Because 24 is the onset of this flow. Why? Let me see. You see up here on the first and another one on the 25th. So you start counting. First will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You stop counting. You stop counting on the 24 because 25th is the 
beginning of another cycle. So it's not counting on the onset or a baby or the next menstruation. So that is how you calculate your cycle and that is how you get your menstrual cycle. If you have done it like this and you see that you counted for January, it was 24 days. You counted for February, it was 24 days. You counted for March, maybe it's 25. For April, maybe it's 24. For May, maybe it's 24. Then averagely that cycle is a 24 days cycle. You need to understand that the lowest cycle is 21 days. The lowest cycle is 21 days and the highest is right up to 35 days. Okay. The highest is right up to 35 days. So we have 21 right up to 35 days in terms of your cycle. So the, the mentality that ladies just say, oh, come on, I'm 28 days. You might not be 28 days. Okay. You might not be 28 days. So why understanding that this is how you can read your cycle, the next thing in your mind will be, how can I know when I am fatal? To know your fatal window, you need to know your ovulation day. The ovulation, like we said, is actually a specific day when that egg has been released. But to get that specific day, you have to do what? You have to take your cycle minus 14. So after calculating, maybe you have calculated and your cycle is 25 days, what do you do? You take 25 minus 14. You get an answer. So if your cycle is 25 days, 25 minus 14, your ovulation occurs on the 11. If your cycle is 35 days, 35 minus 14, your ovulation occurs on day 21. If it's 30 days, 30 minus 14, your ovulation occurs on day 16, and so on and so on. So that is how you do to understand how you get ovulation. And your fertile window is actually four days before ovulation day and two days after ovulation day. I hope this will go a long way to help our ladies out there. So in our next episode, we are going to explain how you get your fertile window. We are going to also explain other aspects of your flow, right? We're going to explain how you get your fertile window. We are going to explain how you calculate fertile window for irregular cycle. We are going to explain how you use your menstrual cycle to conceive either even a baby boy or a baby girl. So we are going to do all of this explanation in our subsequent discussion. I really do hope that you enjoy this. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to follow us and subscribe to our channel. Check your heart and maintain your world on YouTube. On Instagram, we are checking your heart and maintain. On Facebook, we are checking your heart and maintain your world. On Twitter, we are checking your heart and maintain your world. So, thank you so much. I really do hope this will help a lot of people out there. You can pass up on 00237 So, thank you so much. May God bless you. Do have a wonderful time. See you in the next episode. Thank you.